Hey Carla, we're celebrating my 50th YouTube video tonight and so I'm making a special dinner for Joseph. Hi Joseph. Hey. He's camera shy. Anyway, what we're doing tonight is stuffed cabbage rolls with um, a beef and pork mixture and uh, tomato sauce on top. And we're going to show you how to do it. So getting started with the cabbage rolls or gawumkies as they're called. Uh, we need some meat, and we need basically a pound of ground beef, a pound of ground pork. The grocery store didn't have ground pork, so I just grabbed um, some boneless pork chops, cut them into cubes, threw them in the food processor, made my own. If you don't like pork or don't want pork, just do two pounds of ground beef. Because they're cabbage rolls, we need cabbage. You need two heads of cabbage. Try to find ones that have nice leaves on them because we're going to be wrapping with those. We're also going to need some tomato paste, two big cans of crushed tomatoes, a little bit of white wine vinegar, one egg, a cup and a half of white rice, one onion minced. <clears throat> now, because I have a picky eater at home, I'm not allowed to mince the onion. There can be no discernible bits and pieces of onion. Um, so what I have to do with the picky eater, and I'm not talking about the dog, by the way, um, is I put it in the food processor and basically just puree the onion. That way you get the onion flavor and no bits and pieces. But if you don't have a picky eater, just mince it up finely. You'll be fine. need four cloves of garlic to bite it up. So I've got two cloves and two cloves minced up. What else we got? We need um, some salt, some pepper, some olive oil, a little bit of sugar, and I think that's everything. So we're going to go ahead and get started putting all this together. Okay, in a saucepan, I've got about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to add two of the cloves of garlic minced. I'm going to stir this around for about a minute, let the garlic cook, and we're going to add the crushed tomatoes to it. Be careful not to burn the garlic. Add the tomatoes to it. And this is just two large cans of crushed tomatoes. We'll just cook for about five minutes and then we're going to add <coughs> the other ingredients to it. So while that's going, I did separate the um, leaves off of the cabbage, the cabbages. So I have individual leaves uh, which we'll use for wrapping. Um, some of them turned out really nice. We'll use those for wrapping. Some of them are ugly, and that's fine. We'll use the ugly ones for lining the pan that we're going to cook the cabbage rolls in. Um, so it's okay if some of them come out ugly. And by the way, taking leaves off of cabbage is not as easy as you think it would be um, without getting them to tear. You have to be really, really gentle with that. So just keep that in mind. Anyway. Let that simmer for about five minutes. We'll come back and add some more ingredients to this and move on to 
the next item. Okay, five minutes have passed, so now we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. A little bit of black pepper, freshly ground. Not too much because someone doesn't like a whole lot of black pepper. <coughs> He's laughing in the background. A little bit of salt. Give that a good stir as it's bubbling up. Reduce the heat down to a simmer. In the meantime, I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees because we'll be needing that when we bake these puppies. And I've got the water heating over here to blanch the cabbage leaves in once we get to that point. Okay, so that's going to simmer for another five minutes, and then we're going to take it off the heat. Okay, <clears throat> taking that off the heat, and it's going to just sit there quietly for a while. In the um, skillet, I've got the other two cloves of garlic. I'm just going to use the same spoon here. We're going into this pot, this skillet. Stir those around. I'm going to add the onion to this. In this case, the pureed onion, as opposed to the minced onion. Store these around and let these cook for a bit. part is actually going to go into the uh, meat mixture <clears throat> when we get that together. Over here I've got salted water boiling so that the um, put the cabbage leaves in there to blanch those. My alarm is going off. There we go. To this we're going to add Two tablespoons of the tomato paste. To this, we're going to add half a cup of that, of the uh, first batch of sauce we made. So I'm just going to scoop that out. That's Yeah, that's a half cup. You can also add a um, recipe called for adding a splash of red wine. I don't have any red wine sitting around at the moment. Um, you can also add some parsley if you like to. 
Um, you could add some Italian seasoning here if you wanted to. It would probably be good. But anyway, there we go. So it heats off on that. I'm going to move that off the heat for a moment. Let that chill out for a bit. Uh, and then we'll get started on the meat mixture. In the far corner with the boiling water, I'm going to add my cabbage leaves. Let them cook for no longer than five minutes. And then we take them out. We're going to put them in an ice bath. Basically fill the kitchen sink up with ice water. So after five minutes, these are going to get dumped in the ice water to stop the cooking, and they'll turn a nice shade of green. Try to keep these intact, because these are the ones I want to roll up. soften up and we'll do that. So five minutes into the ice bath. For the meat portion we're going to take our hands, clean hands please. Uh, I've got my pork and my beef in here. We're just going to kind of mix these up a little bit with my fingers. Try and get it all mixed in fairly well. To this, we're going to add one egg. Break that up a little bit. The rice, a cup and a half of cooked rice. And The mixture we made in the skillet with the uh, onion gets added into this. And again, using my fingers. <coughs> Kind of mix this all up together. We get it all nice and mixed up. Actually smells pretty good. All right. All right. So I'm taking my individual cabbage leaves out of the bath water, and I'm going to cut the kind of strong part of the stem out there because it doesn't want to roll too well with that. Take about half a cup of the mixture, and I don't guarantee these are going to be pretty, and that's okay. <coughs> As long as they taste good, that's all I care about. I'm going to spread that a little bit. Also, let me point out, I'm working with an inferior cabbage here. The leaves were not perfectly shaped, so any ugly cabbage rolls are not my fault. Right, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. So kind of fold it around, and then you take it seam side down, put it in the pan. Now, you notice the pan over here. Aligned with some of the ugly cabbage leaves. So the cabbage rolls will sit on top of that. That's to keep these rolls from burning when they bake. And then we'll cover it up with some more ugly cabbage leaves shortly. 
So let me do another one here. See if I can make it any prettier. You see, Pauline wants to help. We need to get Pauline a little chef's hat to wear when I'm doing cooking videos. Because she's always there to help me. Isn't that right, Pauline? Yes, girl. You want some too, don't you? You do. Alright, so again, just cutting out that hard part of the core right there. Because they don't fold too well with that end. About half a cup. Try and shape it into a loaf like that. Again, these are not pretty. I don't care. It's how they taste. That's all that matters to me. Right, Carla? Yes. Roll that around. Like so. Flip it over. Put it in the pan. Seam side down. So basically repeat that, the rest of your meat mixture, and then we'll <coughs> move on. All right, so I've got my little rolls made. Now we're gonna take the sauce that we made. We're gonna spoon this over the cabbage rolls. So, then with those remaining ugly cabbage leaves we had, I'm just going to lay those across the top, <coughs> help cover it up. So what you do with your ugly cabbage leaves? They're just there. Just there to go on top while it's baking. Fold those over. ready for the oven. So that's going to go into a 350 degree oven for one hour. <clears throat> Let me take it out and then we're going to eat. Okay, so fresh out of the oven, Carla. Uh, I went ahead and pulled the um, that top layer of cabbage leaves off. They're a little brown and crispy. And so this is what it looks like. Now we're going to scoop these into the plate and we're going to start eating. So finished product on the plate. 
And let's get into this little bad boy and see what it looks like on the inside. So filled with meat, cabbage roll, <clears throat> smells fantastic. And uh, we're gonna enjoy this. So it's easy to do, Carla. I hope you make this. I think your family's gonna like it. Uh, even if you do have a picky eater at home, you can still adjust it to uh, suit them. <laughs> That was the picky eater laughing in the background. So anyway, thank you for watching my 50th video, Carla. And uh, I love you, and we'll talk to you next time.